Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and we are doing a new playthrough. I'm going to show you we're on permadeath. That way you know. And it's a brand new save, because if you die on permadeath, it kills, it wipes your save. You, your save gets deleted, as well as being way harder. Your inventory is limited. All that jazz. But in this series, we're going to call this the Max Inventory Series. Now, it's going to be very similar to the Iron Man challenge we did earlier, except... In this one, the big difference is we are not going to buy a ship. We have to fix one, and it cannot be the starter ship. Let's see what uh, planet we're on. So we have to fix a ship. We can't buy one. And we have to get maximum inventory just like before. So we're looking for drop pods. Now, if I find a ship and I fix it, we're good to go. Is this a, is this a toxic planet? It looks like a toxic. Yeah. Wait for it. Looks like toxicity. Okay. So not ideal. I was hoping for a radiation planet because radiation, we still haven't gotten a radiation planet to start with. Wait for it. That is so nice when you first start out, especially when you have a ship because it actually, you get uranium. Anyway. Wait for it. Keep waiting. The whole goal of this series is to max out our inventory without leaving the starter planet. Now, a lot of every, everyone, or I should say everyone, a lot of people had a problem with me getting into a ship and flying in like right below the atmosphere's edge. I'm going to have to do that because some things are going to be like hours away. And I don't think you guys would want to see me walk for eight hours straight. But I will say we're going to limit it to I cannot buy a ship. I have to fix one. I have to fix one that I find. That way it's a little bit harder. <laughs> We're still going to be playing with a HUD. So I need to know where I'm going. But yeah. This is going to be... Oh, let's get some uh, ferrite dust. We're also going to need some cobalt. I don't know if we have a radiation or a uh, cave around here. So the, the uh, it's always the first like 10 minutes or so. Are always, always the most intense parts of the series because... Wait for it. You, this is the highest point of death right here. Oh... Here it comes. I need to find some, uh, anything. A hole. Nope. Not deep enough. I need to find a cave. Come on. Almost there. All right. We should be able to fix the, uh, scanner now. Oh, no, 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 not yet. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I don't see any. Let's see this plant. Oh, please give me hazard protection. Okay, it's giving me hazard protection. Thank God. Woo! Wheat gives you hazard protection. Let's put this geode. Okay, we got it. Okay, now we, sh we should be able to fix it. All right. So that's always the scariest part. Because you can die if your hazard protection goes too low for too long. All right. So, yeah, again, I know I'm, I'm in the middle of trying to survive and explaining the series to you guys. But, uh, oh, let's scan real fast. Let's get some sodium. But the whole goal of this series is to max out our inventory, just like the Iron Man challenge. The only big difference is I'm not going to be able to buy a ship. I have to fix one that is not the starter ship. So that'll make it a little bit harder. I think that, uh, oh, <laughs> let me go over here. Oh, hopefully we get a, a, an upgrade from this uh, broken terminal. Broken module, I should say. Anyway, but yeah, and so we're, it's all the same rules. I, if Once I get into a ship, once I fix it one, I can fly around and try to get a whole bunch of uh, anti-matter because that's the hardest one. And I mean, once we, once we fix a ship, we can buy one and trade it and do all that stuff, but we have to fix our, our first one. We have to fix it. And oh my God. Yes! Yes! I am what? Five minutes in, and I just got radiation protection. Oh, man. You guys, I have a feeling this is going to be a really good playthrough. I have a feeling. Let me move my, my technology out of the way. Look at that. I got radiation, an S-class radiation protection module instantly. Within, like, what, 100 feet of my, my uh, start? Oh. Oh, my God. You guys, this is going to be a good playthrough. I could feel it. Oh, wait. I'm running towards my uh, ship. I can't do that. 
So yeah, we're gonna fix one, but we can't fix the one that they give you, the starter one, because that's too easy. But we have to fix it, and I have to get a whole bunch of antimatter. Oh yeah, we have to make a scanner. What do I need for that? I know I need a uh, car uh, carbon uh, carbon nanotube. There we go. So we, we can't make it yet, but we can get some of these plants, get some carbon. Anyway, max inventory without leaving the starter planet. I still don't know if that's possible or not. I don't think anyone else has tried it. So we're going to be the first ones, hopefully, to do it. Now, if that's not possible, like if we go through and we find every single drop pod on this planet and we just don't get enough, then I will say we will expand out to the next planet. We're not going to leave the system, and so we will pick another planet, we will land on it, and then that will be our next planet. We will just not leave that planet. I don't think that's going to happen. I think we'll be able to find enough uh, drop pods on this planet to max out, but you never know. That's a little ways away, and I don't know if you guys watched the Iron Man or, yeah, the Iron Man series, but uh, I got taken out, like, almost instantly. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. We got we to gotta do that. Let me do this. I think we only need one, right? Yep, we only need one. God, listen to that music. So good. I can't believe we got a, a, a protection module immediately. Oh, man. Okay. So, our first goal is probably going to be getting to a minor settlement or a trading outpost or some kind of a something to uh, buy a hermetic seal because since we're not following the tutorial whoa look at this little guy you have a scary face wow but yeah because we're not doing the tutorial we're not going to learn the uh, recipe for hermetic seal therefore it's going to be rough we can't fix a, uh, a ship if we don't have a hermetic seal that's a big big problem Oh yeah, we need to make some uh, health, some life support gels. So let's get some of this. Dihydrogen is your best friend. You can make launch fuel from it. You can also get a whole bunch of life gels out of it. So always, especially early on, get that, get some carbon and you're good to go. And this planet, because it's not a cold planet, there's a lot of carbon all over the place, which makes it a little easier. Oh, let's scan this plant. We get some money from this. We're going to need some money to buy our hermetic seal. Let's scan these uh, animals. Now, you're going to see it only gives me like 500 or whatever because I haven't upgraded my multi-tool at all yet. And so I'm going to get low amounts of money until I get some upgrades, but that's okay. I'm also going to need to get another uh, multi-tool because this one is really small and not really working. Let's uh, go over here. Get in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We should have enough for a life support gel. At least one. Oh, yeah. We might be able to make two. I think so. Life supports. Yes. So now we got two. We are good to go on that. But yeah. Okay. So now we just need to start looking. We need to pick a direction and go there. So at first, I'm going to actually go over here. This might be... But since we've been so lucky so far, this might actually really be awesome. So let's get over here. There's a broken module somewhere. Is this it? Oh, no. Because it's a radiation planet, it's going to throw me off. Okay. Where are you? Okay. You're in here. Look at it. It's in the middle of all this. Let's see. Give me an upgrade. <laughs> Give me another uh, life support upgrade. That'd be amazing. Or a uh, hazard protection upgrade. Come on. Oh, Nanites, you know what? I'm not going to complain because I got so much good stuff early on. What's down here? Oh! Look at this cool little uh, monument. No. Monolith? No. A plaque, maybe? This is a plaque. Yep, it's a plaque. So I can learn words, maybe? The ancient marker hums at a frequency that burrows deep into my being, filling me with the voices of the Corvax Echoes. Corvax! Yeah, there you go. Corvax! Knowledge paves the way to understanding of probability. The Atlas spoken fragments. The Atlas interfaces are their shadows. The monoliths are scattered children. Together they convey the wisdom of the infinite. They must be understood. So, you can seek knowledge of the past, which will point you in the direction of a ruin that could be hours away on foot. Or you can seek help with language. I'm going to do the language. 
So now I'm gonna learn the words for Corvax, of course. You always learn the name first. Wait, okay, so we did this. Let's just head south then. Actually, you know what? We're gonna actually look into our discoveries. Okay, yeah, we, that's our planet. That's where we're at. That's where our ship is anyway. So we can head south. Let's head south. We headed. We were heading north in the last one, so we'll head south on this one. Anyway, the whole goal of the series, max out your inventory without leaving the starter planet, unless it's not possible, and we are going to test it before we, we say it's not possible. Look at this guy over here. Give me that money. Now, it's gonna, it's gonna be a little bit harder because this is a talk or a radiation. Oh no, this is a radiation planet. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All my talking, I didn't realize this is a radiation planet. Duh. You guys are probably screaming at the screen right now that it is a radiation planet. It's a radiation planet, which means I will be able to. Oh, I can't upgrade my. Okay. I need to get some batteries. Need to get some batteries or uranium, one of the two. But yeah, uranium is amazing because you can use it in your uh, your starship as launch fuel. So it makes it so much easier instead of making uh, shuttle launch fuel every time, shuttle fuel, you can just get uranium. So let's get this stuff. Oh, let's scan these because the, the other thing that's huge is if you ever see something that has two materials, like it says unidentified mineral, Ferrite dust and then analyze right below that. That means there's two different materials that come from this. You'll get a majority of it will be ferrite dust, but there's a secondary thing that it will give you, and it's probably uranium or salt. One of the two is probably salt. It is... Hey, I literally scanned it. What the heck? Okay. Oh, it is uranium. Okay, so if I, if I mine this, it'll give me a little bit of uranium and a lot of ferrite dust. Let's look at this. So, yeah, it gave me two uranium. Okay. Now, that's okay, though, because I'll take any of the uranium I can get right now because I can recharge my hazard protection with that. So let's go over here. There we go. It gave me, like, what, 15%? 22%. So we are actually pretty good on that. I'll take it. Oh. Need to recharge this mining beam. Get our uh, condensed carbon because it'll actually refill our mining beam a lot faster. Always pick up this dihydrogen. Why is my uh, hazard protection not going up? I wonder why it's not going up. It should go up if I have my, uh, my extra layer of protection activated. Up, oh, I got a shield. Man, I'm getting upgrades. Look at that. I got a shield module. I got a... Oh... Dude, this is gonna be the easiest playthrough of all time. He says as right before he dies on permadeath mode. <laughs> Look at this thing! I'm getting a whole bunch of upgrades. That's crazy. I don't think I've ever gotten that many upgrades that early. I mean, I'm gonna use all this up because I need to fill up my hazard protection, I think. Alright. There's another one over here? Oh no, no. Smoke. Oh, okay, it always jacks me up. Anyway. I'm super excited to be on a radiation planet. I didn't realize it because I am I was so excited earlier on about my upgrades. But yeah, radiation planet is very good for your ship. Because you can use uranium for launch fuel. I'm so pumped up about that. Let's keep mining unidentified material or mineral. Always scan as much as you can early on because it will give you extra stuff. Oh no. I need some batteries. Oh, let's scan this guy. Oh, look at him. He has a cool little head. Oh, I got a thousand bucks for that guy. You're going to give me some radiation or some uranium? Come on. You know you want to. Nitrogen. I mean, you could take that and sell it. You really can't use any, any of that right now because you need it for some more advanced, you know, uh, blueprints. And we don't know any of that stuff yet. Oh, this will give you sodium. I'll take the sodium. Wow, I definitely need to get into a cave. I saw a cave earlier. I ignored it because I'm dumb. I should have jumped in that cave because I can get some cobalt and make some batteries. You need batteries early on. Especially when you have upgrades. Oh, let's do that. Life support. 
And we'll use the rest of our sodium for now. What is this? Oh, look at this little home over here. Okay, that'll help us get our, our protection up at least. We gotta look for a cave. I think there's a cave over there. But yeah, we need to get into a cave so we can get some cobalt so I can re keep refilling my uh, my life support. Or my hazard protection, excuse me. Well, I, I think your life support only takes gels. So you need gels. I know, I know. Alright, I know we're heading south, but there's a uh, home over here and I need to get in there quick. It feels like my, my protection went down really fast on that one. Maybe I didn't fill it all the way, so it just went down super quick. Um, I've seen a lot of buried technology. So hopefully one of these are above the surface. That's, that's the other thing too. If I run into it, I'll just get some money. And that's the other reason why I don't want to buy a ship. Because then you could just do that really easy. So I want my first one to be something I fix. Just to make it a little bit more difficult. Let's get over here. And it should be right above that corner. Get some sodium. So yeah, my plan right now is just to he keep heading south, even though I'm heading north right now, I know. Not look left, because <laughs> that is a, a thing I tend to do. We should actually be mining for materials. I might be able to get some uranium out of here. I mean, nitrogen out of this, but I'll get carbon. Oh, scan it. We might get some uranium out of it. Oh, uh, yep, uranium. And you'll only get a little bit. On the secondary material, you only get a little bit of that. But it'll it'll add up after you do a whole bunch of, you know, if you grab a whole bunch of these rocks, it'll add up after a while. So no reason not to. Oh, overheat. Man. Got it. All right. And there is a uh, broken module. Oh, yeah. We definitely need to make some more life support gels. So that's why we're getting dihydrogen. Let's get another upgrade over here. We got a shield upgrade. Let's get a life support upgrade or maybe a movement upgrade. We got a... What is it? Nanites. That's okay. We've gotten so much already. It is insane. All right. Oop. There we go. Now our hazard protection should go back up. Yep, there you go. Give me those nanites. Let's see what we got going on here. What can we make? What can we make? Oh, yeah, we should be able to make... We got a whole bunch of ferrite dust. We need some cobalt. Let's put that in there. Oh, totally full. And we... Oh, no, we used all of our, our uranium. That's okay. Nitrogen is definitely not going to help us in there. Life support. All right, so we need to make some gels. We can make two. That's fine. Two gels. Mm. So, what we can do is, let's get some more of this. Because it's nighttime, I don't want to really deal with the night. Because you really can't see anything majorly. I mean, uh, uh, not seeing anything around here There's, other than the broken module. There's some words we can learn. Nothing really, okay. We've already used that one. I wish it would mark something that you've already activated. Like, since we already hit that one over there, it should take it away or something. Or at least diff turn it into a different color. That way I know, okay, I've already done that one. Ooh, we got 800 bucks from there. Shield at maximum. All right, so we can make, I think, oh, we don't have oxygen. Dang it, we need some oxygen in order to make a uh, portable refiner. Let's see. Yep, I need 30 oxygen to make a portable refiner. So where's my oxygen at? Up oh, over here. Hopefully I can get 30 from this one little plant. I doubt it. Um, 18. That's pretty good. That's more than halfway there. So let's get this plant. We should be good, right? Hopefully. Ideally. Oh, there's two of them here. Oh, there you go. 34. Let's pick up the sodium while we're here. And more, uh, dihydrogen, because we're about to make a whole bunch of dihydrogen. 
Uh, no, no, no. There we go. So what we're going to do, especially early on... Oh, come on. And I know you guys are going to give me crap. Oh, you're trying to play it the hard way, and then you're going to cheat. It's not cheating if it's part of the game. So what we can do is... Oh, yeah, we need to make one metal plating. What we can do is we can get a whole bunch of uh, dihydrogen by making and refining uh, dihydrogen gels. So we did that. Now we have to refine it. Oh, we need to put carbon in there. Oh, that's going to hurt us. But I want to have a whole bunch of carbon to make some life support gels. But it only takes 40 dihydrogen to make a, uh, a dihydrogen jelly, right? But we get 50 out of it. Like, let me show you guys. So it make it takes 40 of them to make one jelly. So 40 dihydrogen makes one jelly, right? And then if we put one jelly in here, we get 50 back. So you see it says 50? So we're technically making 10 every time. Now at first it's gonna be really slow because of course we, we don't have that much. But once you start making multiples, that's when things start taking off. Because once you get a stack of like five, well then you're getting 50 extra, which means you get a whole extra one. So you just sit, sit here and do this for a while and you will get a ton of dihydrogen jelly. So let's do another one. And it's really fast. Like if you wanted to make dihydrogen or you wanted to make the jelly, it would only take you 30, so if we put it in here, it only takes 30 to make one jelly. The problem is, look at that time. It takes eight minutes in order to do that. Or is it takes what? A split second to break it down? So it is not worth it to, to refine it into jelly. You just have to make it, you know, yourself with the recipe. And you learn that right off the bat. And so why not? And pop that baby in there. Look at that. Two seconds, three seconds. That's way faster than eight minutes. <laughs> and so, yeah, four now. See, now we're getting up there. Now we're getting to the point where it's actually making a, a big difference here. So now we'll get 200 from a stack of four. Good to go. Into our menu. And now we can make five. See, now it's going real fast. Easy peasy on this one. Boom. And we're only going to get 250. Now, that is the maximum stack in permadeath. If you're on normal mode, you can get up to 4,009. Is it 4,000? Something. Something over 4,000. Which is, you know, they, they have to do it in, uh, in rotation with the number system in the game. That's why, you know, 9,999 is amazing for a stack limit. But we don't get that in permadeath mode. So, boom. And we'll have extras, so it'll stop at 250, watch. But we still have one more to, to do, so let's do it again. There we go. And yeah, just keep doing that. Now we can make seven. And yeah, it just it's going quicker and quicker and quicker. Now, if you were on normal mode, you'd be able to get a big old stack of dihydrogen. It wouldn't stop you at 250, so I'm a little bit jealous of you guys on normal mode. All right, so that should be good. I mean, I don't want to sit here. It'll be the most boring, you know, episode ever. But we had nine of them, so that is good. Nine is pretty epic. Let's pick this uh, portable refiner up because we need our carbon. Because in order to make life support gel, you need to have carbon and dihydrogen jelly. So we can make four of them. Let's put that down over there, over here. You're right there, and you're right there. We got a pulse engine module. I can't believe we got that. All right. So let's make some more. One. Oh, yeah. You guys told me we can make actually a different stack. So three and then put them stacks together. There you go. That's actually smart. Because then you don't have to keep holding the button over and over. You just make a separate stack and then combine them. That works. All right. So we have tons of jelly still. So let's keep heading south. <laughs> now that we've walked this far. Oh, yeah. I need to find some. Uh... Oh, yeah. We have life support. Duh, I just made it. Man. Losing my mind, but we need to find a cave in order to get some cobalt so we can make a battery. And I mean, we don't really need it. You know, on like my cold, uh, my freezing planet, we really needed batteries because 
There is no uranium at all on the planet. But because this is a radiation planet, there's radiate or there's uranium all over the place. Oh, let's scan this baby. It'll probably give us salt. And radon. Wow. We're getting a whole bunch of cool stuff. Sodium, radon, uh, nitrogen, uranium. There we go. Just get some nitro or some uranium from the uh and once you see what it looks like, you'll see, okay, these rocks right here, they always look the same. This will give me uranium, so whenever I'm looking around for more ferrite dust, get some uranium while we're there. Oh, look at that big patch of sodium over there. Holy cow. And we're actually going to need that for our drop pods later on. Because for a drop pod, in case you guys didn't watch my Iron Man series, for a drop pod, you need sodium nitrate, which comes from sodium. You have to refine it. You need ionized cobalt, which comes from cobalt. You have to refine that. You need antimatter, which you cannot make right now because I'm still in the, in the tutorial phase of the game. And so they haven't taught me the blueprint for that yet. But we can get around that by trading ships and breaking down parts. And so that'll be easy enough to get to. But we have to get to our ship first. So hopefully we can find a broken ship. Not right now, though, because if we find one now, I won't be able to fix it. I need to find a uh, shop to buy a hermetic seal from. So, we're good to go. Just keep going south. Oh, but keep leaning left. Use some of that uranium. Oh, yeah. And it's an S-Class, which means I get a lot. A lot of protection from that. I love it. Making up a lot of sodium. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, and... I don't want to show you guys my, my location just yet. I know you guys are probably in the comments saying, Hey, show us your glyphs so you can get there. I don't want to show you guys yet. I want to try to kind of get a few episodes in before. That way I can kind of see how close I am. You know, because the other thing is, the record for the fastest um, find, ship find, uh, crashed ship find, is... Uh, oh, look, it's a double module! The fastest one is uh, Survival Bob. He did it in 43 minutes. And so hopefully I could do it faster than him. That means it's going to be a couple of episodes before that happens. The way these ones time out, kind of. All right, so we got nanites on that one. And let's see what we get from this one. We got more nanites. That's okay. We got all our upgrades up front, so I'm okay with that. I am definitely okay with getting our upgrades up front. Because it helps out a ton. Let's get some of that uranium. And we can keep our protection going. And the one cool thing and bad thing about a protection is that it stops it from hurting you. Therefore, you don't have to really refill your hazard protection as fast. The only downside is it, it does not automatically refill when you're inside. Like your normal hazard protection, your regular hazard protection... It will refill automatically once you're inside a building or inside a uh, starship or in a cave when you're protected from the elements. The uh, radiation upgrades, or whatever upgrades, the temperature or hazard upgrades, they don't refill unless you charge them up with either a battery or a special item. Like, if it's for radiation, you need uranium to recharge it. Or, if it's for cold, you're going to need dioxide for that. Oh, life support's low. Man, life support. I didn't realize on our last playthrough we had a good life support uh, upgrade. Would you? Really? Oh, did I scan you already? I think I have. Yep, you got a green paw on you. So, and I'm not really... I, I didn't look around for anything before. Let's do this. Okay, there's a uh, damage machinery over here. Oh, oh, don't go too high because you... Take fall damage, and then I'll die. And we don't need that. Not this early, anyway. We gotta wait till, like, a, episode 13. And then I just get taken out by uh, Sentinels, which is terrible. The quads got me. Oh, uh, Nanites, okay. Man, I still can't believe I got protection module right off the bat. That was craziness, you guys. Absolutely ludicrous. I mean, I think I was faster than my, uh... My initial episode. My, uh, my stream. I think on my stream it took about 15 minutes. This one, it took less than five to get an upgrade. That's crazy time. So, 
I don't think that's going to extend over to my, uh, my ship, though. I'm not seeing anything on the horizon. Usually you'll see a marker saying, hey, there's a, uh, an abandoned building or something, but not seeing anything yet. Get some of this dihydrogen. And I can always expand it later on with the uh, refiner method that we saw earlier. I don't want to do that too much because it's kind of boring. It's not really fun to watch that, but it's necessary sometimes. All right. I'm not seeing anything either. Well, there's a unknown building over here. And it'll sometimes mark a, uh, a crashed ship as an unknown building. So let's see if I could do that in like 30 minutes. <laughs> That would be the record, and that would be amazing. But we'll see. Let me put some more uranium in my protection. Didn't need to, but I like to. And you see my uh, my protection is slowly going up. Come on. Why is it not going up? Why am I still going down? Huh. Oh, it's going up. It's going up slowly. Slowly. Uh, sorry, I, I always go over to the left-hand side. You see it says protection. 6.6 .6 raid. Rad. So for radiation. Critical exposure in 1 minute and 40 seconds. It's just slowly recuperating because that's what your base does. Oh, man. No, it's not. Dang it. Well, I was hoping maybe it would be a ship. That would have been, been amazing to end our first episode on a crashed ship. I mean, we, we got upgrades right off the bat, so that's pretty awesome. But let's keep going up. Let's get over here because we can make a save. Finally. Let's get some of these. Yep. So we can get some of our uranium. Why is that guy going low? What is going on here? Where are you going? Okay. It freaked me out. He was flying real low. Like he was going to land on something. And that would have been amazing. Like if there's a uh, ship or something over here. Let's get over here. So, hopefully you guys like the new series. I'm hoping that, you know, we can we can keep keep this one going. We're going to save real fast. Hopefully we can keep this one going beyond 13 episodes. Because, uh, man, our Iron Man challenge kind of ended on a, uh, a nothing, really. What is that? Oh, the planet is glitched out. Okay. But hopefully you guys liked it. If you did, hit that like button for me. And I will see you in the next episode, okay?